Hi again, everyone. John Accardo here. Welcome to part three of this series covering the FS200 clamp-on utility software. In today's session, we're going to discuss the AGA8 calculations capability of the tool. The FS200 Utilities AGA8 calculations tool allow you to perform enthalpy calculations for your gas and also enables creation of an AGA8 table that you can upload to your FS230 flow meter directly to enable standard volume calculations for fixed gas compositions without the need for a flow computer. We'll take a deeper look into both of these capabilities during the course of this presentation. To get started with your AGA8 calculations, just like with the sizing tools, there's no need for any special setup configuration of the FS200 utility, nor is there a need to connect to your flow meter. If ultimately you'll be uploading an AGA8 table to your FS230, then you'll need to actually connect to it, but we'll cover that later in the program. So to get started, just come up to the Utilities tab, click it, and then click the AGA8 Calculations button. That will open up the AGA8 Calculations window. Any of the data you see present is data that was entered on the previous use of the tool. The FS200 utility maintains your entries when you close the window. When you reopen it, your previous entries are still present. If you take a quick look at the tool window, you'll see that there's entry values for all the different mole fractions of natural gas. But before you begin entering your gas mole fractions, across the top, you'll want to verify that the preset values match with your application parameters. You, you can select your pressure entry values in PSIA, PSIG, bar, pascals, etc. You can select your process temperature, you can select your velocity units for sonic velocity as feet per second or meters per second. You can select your density units and you could select your enthalpy units. You'll also want to enter in, in the center, your base pressure for your application, which we have at one bar, and your operating pressure. You'll also want to enter your base temperature, which is here we have 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and your operating temperature, which is currently just 60. Uh, we'll modify those. Let's just say that our application runs at 500 PSI, and our operating temperature is 72 degrees for our enthalpy calculations. Um, we can now begin entering our gas mole fractions. And just to save a little time, I'll speed up the tape for this portion. With your mole fractions entered, you can now generate your enthalpy calculations. Um, once again, just verify your base pressure and your actual pressure, your base temperature and your actual temperature. Then click the Normalize button, which will round the gases off to give you exactly 100%. Then come down to the bottom and click Calculate. The FS200 tool will now present your gas enthalpy calculations. For the FS230 flow meter, uh, if you're doing an installation, uh, the most important values you'll see are the speed of sound calculation, which you'll need to verify that the flow meter is indicating the theoretical speed of sound for the actual gas that it's measuring. That's an important verification of the installation. You'll also want to check your compressibility numbers over on the right here, ZB being the base compressibility at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and one bar, and ZF being your actual compressibility factor for your current conditions. Um, this is also an important number in the case where you might want to do local standard volume correction for comparison to an in-situ meter. Knowing this value will enable you to enter it into the flow meter so that you can do standard volume correction right at the meter without the need for a flow computer. Um, as you could see, if we were to change pressure, let's say our pressure was now 800, our speed of sound will change along with our compressibility factor. 
our actual compressibility factor. Um, so this is a valuable tool for getting these calculations and getting your overall gas enthalpy calculations. Next, we'll look into actually creating an AGA8 table that you can upload to your FS230 flow meter. The FS230 flow meter comes equipped with a built-in AGA8 table that it references while measuring. If your natural gas has a composition that's different from typical natural gas, or in the case of a fixed gas composition, you want to perform standard volume flow measurement locally at the flow meter without the need for a flow computer. Having an accurate AGAA table to reference will enable the FS230 flow meter to perform this localized measurement of standard volume. To get started creating an AGAA table, all you need to do is come up to the top of the screen and click the box next to create AGAA table. That will clear your current enthalpy calculations and change the screen layout somewhat. If you now look across the center part of the screen, you'll see that not only do we have a base pressure, but now instead of just a single operating pressure, we have a minimum pressure and a maximum pressure requirement, and the same with temperature. The base temperature is shown, but the tool also requires a minimum temperature and a maximum temperature. So let's begin entering these values. Let's say our hypothetical application ranges from 400 PSI to 800 PSI and our temperature ranges from 50 degrees to let's say 80 degrees that's fine we're still using the same gas composition that I just entered previously and now all we need to do is come down to the bottom and click the calculate button again the FS200 tool will now compute an AGA8 table that you can upload to your flow meter. What you see here is a compressibility factor matrix across the top. The top section shows temperature over the range on the y-axis, over the range of your application conditions that you entered from 50 degrees to 80 degrees in this case and it shows pressure over the range you entered from 400 up to 800. And for each intersection of the temperature versus pressure, you'll see a compressibility factor based upon your gas mole fractions. The lower section is a sonic velocity matrix. So based upon pressure and temperature, you can Look at the intersection of the two and find the sonic velocity that you should be getting under those conditions. This table can now be uploaded to the FS230 flow meter rather simply um, and the FS230 flow meter will then utilize this table rather than its generic table to perform its standard volume calculations. So let's talk about performing an upload of the AGA table. To perform your upload, you'll need a Type A mini USB cable that you can plug into the FS230 service port. Plug the standard end of the USB cable into your PC connection and plug the Type A connector of the cable into the service port of the FS230, which is located above the display. Before we can upload our AGAA table to the FS230 flow meter, there's a couple of things we have to do. We first have to erase the existing AGAA table that's already present in the FS230 flow meter. We also have to establish a connection to the flow meter itself. We've already got our cable connected between our PC and our flow meter, and now we have to actually establish the communications. So the first thing you want to do is exit out of your AGAA tool and come up to the setup tab. Click the setup tab and click the communications. Be sure that your device address is one. If there's no device address there, the FS200 utility won't be able to communicate with your flow meter. So enter one, 
you can make sure that your baud rate is at 19.2. Make sure it's connected to the correct COM number that you have your cable plugged into, and then just click OK. Now just come to the Connections tab and click it. Then click Connect. A dialog box will open up that shows the connection status. Just click OK. That will initiate the communications. Once that box goes away, you're, you've established communication with your FS230 flow meter. Now you can go back to your Utilities tab and click the AGA8 calculation button once again. Click Calculate and you'll be right back to where you were with your AGA8 table. Now come down to click the Erase Flash button. That will erase the existing AGA8 table in the FS230 flow meter. Once you've done that, you can click the Send Table button and that will initiate the send to the flow meter. When you do that, at the very top where it says Status, you'll see Saving AGA8 Table to Meter. Please wait. You'll have to wait until that completes and once it's done, you can then come down and exit. You'll see now it says Data Save Successful. You can now exit the tool and you've now successfully loaded your new AGAA table to your FS230 flow meter. So that's all there is to using the AGAA calculations tool in the FS200 utility program. I hope you found this helpful. Please be sure to check out all the other videos in this series covering the use of the FS200 utility.